the 2020 Ford Expedition King Ranch. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Long MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find some of the most in-depth video walkarounds in our different Ford and Lincoln vehicles. And not only just the models, but specific to the trim, like we're doing with this video. So if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down below. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel with this great content and these great videos you'll see. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of an ex these videos as they come live uh, on YouTube. So definitely uh, take advantage of that. Also, if you haven't had a chance either, you'll notice at the end of this video, we're going to talk about free shipping. Uh, so we do free shipping within uh, a certain parameter. So, you know, check for that free shipping because if you watch this video, uh, we've had a lot of people comment that they'd like to do business with us here at Law MacArthur, but because we live so far away, it's not really feasible, but we do get free shipping for you. So that's a great way for you to buy a vehicle from a dealership that knows their product and you can get it shipped right to your door. A great way to do business. So be looking for that. But first we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about the standard equipment first. Then we're going to talk about a, a couple packages that are available and the standalone options at the end. So very thorough video. Check the timestamps down below in the description. And so I hope you really enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're spending a little time here on safety, and if you've watched the XLT video I've already uh, have released on our YouTube channel, it's going to have the same safety features as your XLT and on up. Uh, there's not anything added in the way of safety. There's some technology features we'll talk about in just a little bit, but when it comes to safety, all the same safety features in this section than I did on the XLT. So let's go ahead and cover it if you haven't watched that video. Uh, here for the driver and front passenger, you have a dual stage front airbag. That means it's going to deploy a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It does have sensors underneath those seats, so it knows that position uh, to deploy the correct size airbag for you. Also, side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger that will deploy an airbag from the side of that seat if you have a side collision uh, and get that side impact over here. Also, it does have the safety canopy airbags. That's going to deploy down those airbags on the beside the vehicle and on top. So that way, if, and with the rollover sensor, so if the vehicle does roll over, it's going to automatically deploy those to protect occupants for breaking glass and that kind of thing from any kind of rollover situation. Now, this does have advanced track with roll stability control, so hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, and then basically what that's going to do is use a series of brakes around the vehicle so the vehicle won't roll over. So advanced track helps you keep you on your intended path on those, you know, those going into the curves too fast or those slick driving uh, situations. Uh, it's gonna help you try to keep you on your intended path there. And it does have your traction control and curve control to go along with that. Also you have, if you do get an accident, it does have SOS post crash alert system. It's gonna honk the horns and flash the lights so people know that you need to come to your safety. As well as it has 911 assist where you can call, uh, 911 will actually call into you if you have a severe accident. Uh, and 911 will call in, ask if you're okay, if they need to come to your safety, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And so that's a real nice way to be able to use a little bit different than OnStar or some of those other services calls 911 directly. Uh, so you're, calling, you're talking to those people that are going to be coming to your safety. So uh, real nice how that works. Also back here in the, these doors, you do have the child safety locks on these back doors so the kids can't open those when you're going down the road or maybe even if you're stopped, you don't want them getting opening those doors, uh, then it'll have that child safety lock for those doors as well as you do have the latch system. That lower anchors and tethers for children that allows you to securely fasten those booster seats, car seats into those uh, back of those seats without having to use the shoulder harnesses. Uh, more secure, it keeps them in there solid, especially if you're gonna leave it in there for a long period of time. That latch system is just the way to go to help keep you the, those kids safe there on those two outbound seats in the second row back there. So some great safety features throughout the vehicle. The last one I wanna talk about before we move up to the front of the vehicle is your pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Now it's gonna include your pedestrian detection, front collision warning, and the dynamic brake support. So basically the way that works is if you're driving along, the person in front of you maybe hits the brakes real fast, or they're maybe turning a little slow and you think you're gonna be okay, uh, and you don't hit your brakes, it's gonna alert you with a series of uh, tones and also will initiate the brake support if you don't hit your brakes uh, to avoid that accident or at least lessen the severity of that accident. So that's a great system uh, that happens here. And that's actually part of the Copilot 360 uh, package there. Uh, but we're gonna cover a, a couple other things I, I feel like are more driver assist features uh, than safety, but there are some safety features that go along with those. So we'll cover those as we move forward into the video, video here. Now your Expedition for your King Ranch is available in either your regular length or your max length. Your max length means it's that extended length giving you the extra cargo room 
behind the third row seat. This happens to be a regular link to kind of give you an idea and reference. So if you're on the you know, Ford's website or different dealer websites, and you make sure you're wanting that, that extended length and you're looking for inventory for that, a lot of them will break it out to an Expedition and Expedition Max. So the Max will be those vehicles you want to look, fat, look for for that kind of inventory. Also available in either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. And when you do get the four-wheel drive, you're going to get the four-wheel drive system. That's an automatic four-wheel drive for you. So uh, really great. You can use the uh, four-wheel drive. This one happens to be a little different because it actually is the four-wheel drive that goes with a different package we'll talk about later. Uh, so I'm going to give you a clip from the XLT video I did that kind of shows you what that looks like there. It's going to be positioned behind your shifter there right on the console. So real easy to get to for the four-wheel drive. But even better yet, you get the drive modes with that. So I like the drive modes instead and, and I'll kind of talk a little bit about that for a second. Now what your drive modes allow you to do is, is put it in, two, in several different modes. I think there's five different modes. You have a normal mode, you have an eco mode, a sport mode. You also have you know, a slippery road uh, mode. You have a, when it's snowing, if you're going off road, if you have gravel. So you really adjust that for your terrain. So it's more of a terrain management system than anything. So what I like about using that instead of just uh, hitting the four wheel drive if it's snowing outside is that it adjusts not only the four wheel drive system to your driving, your road conditions, but also your traction control and it even adjusts your torque and such to the different drive modes. So, you know, instead of just kind of flipping it into the four wheel drive when it's snowing, maybe go ahead and put it in the uh, different drive mode that goes along with that condition real quickly by shifting it even while you're driving and it's gonna go ahead and take everything, take care of everything for you. So uh, just uh, something that I've found is very helpful when I'm driving the Expedition myself. Now also they're gonna come all standard with the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Uh, it delivers incredible power. Uh, I think it has, still has best in class for towing as well because of this EcoBoost engine. Uh, same engine you're seeing in your F-150s. Uh, so very powerful engine. Uh, and then of course you did see the numbers flash on the screen. I know your Platinum is gonna be a little bit boosted. Uh, the King Ranch still has the same numbers as your Limited and your XLT when it comes to performance for that EcoBoost engine. Also, it's going to come. With, this EcoBoost will come with the auto start stop technology. And what that means is, when you come up to the stoplight stop sign, it's going to shut the vehicle off. Uh, that's they're trying to help you conserve a little bit on fuel economy. And uh, when you let go of the brake, it's going to turn the vehicle right back on. So uh, even if you're at a stop sign and you maybe you don't didn't want it shut completely off, I found if you just pull up just a little bit off the brake, it'll turn it back on and still have most of your brake uh, press there. Or if you want to, you can deactivate it for that trip by hitting that A with a circle around it, uh, right above your, your screen there, just, just on that top level of that, the dash there, and you can deactivate it for that trip. Also come with the 10 speed automatic transmission for you as well. Uh, what's great about that is when you're towing, you have a couple extra you know, uh, gears there for you, as well as you have some lower end gears there for your torque as well. So again, if you're towing, or uh, even if you're wanting to take off a little bit faster, you have some different gears there for you. Also, it's going to come with the select shift transmission. So you can just put it in that manual mode, that M there in the middle, just press it. And you use the plus and minus that's located right below that to be able to shift up and down like a manual transmission. So uh, I found that comes in real handy, especially if you're maybe going up to the mountains. We go to Colorado sometimes. Coming down the mountains, I like to downshift and stay in those lower gears. You just go ahead and put it in the manual mode and you, you can shift it up and down using the plus and minus that way. Makes it a little bit easier coming down from those mountains and those very steep mountains and those, some of those roads up there. Now let's look at the, uh, the take a look at the, the styling here. It looks different than the other trims. Uh, first is the grill. So nice chrome grill here with the stone gray inserts there. Love the look of that. So uh, they're calling that stone gray there. Uh, goes real closely with the stone gray that you might get. So if you did get a stone gray exterior, it would uh, match up pretty closely with that. You're going to have LED headlights here. Also LED signature lighting and you're going to have auto high beams as well as the automatic feature. So let me talk about all those real quickly. Uh, the auto feature means if you have it in that auto, it's gonna turn those headlights on when it gets dark. It'll turn them back off when it gets light out again. So that's real a nice feature, so you don't have to f remember to do that. Also wiper activated, so when you do have the wipers on, the headlights will come on automatically because most states, that's a, that's a law. If your wipers are going, you need your headlights on. Also, the auto high beams is part of the Copilot 360, and that works pretty, uh, pretty much the same. If you have the auto high beams uh, selected, you can activate and deactivate it in your lighting screen there. Then what it'll do is if there's no one in front of you, it's dark enough outside, it's going to turn the high beams on. 
if someone approaches you or even if you're in the city lights, it's gonna turn them off. So if that's something that you don't like to activate, you wanna do it yourself, you can activate and deactivate it in the lighting screen. Uh, but it's a great feature to have, especially a lot of times people will turn their high beams on and forget they have them on, a car, car approaches and they're blinding that car. So nice safety feature for other uh, people if you use the auto high beams for you. Also, I mentioned the wipers, the wiper activated. Now would be a good time to talk about the wipers. We do have windshield wiper de-icers for this vehicle which means when it's you know, you know, cold outside, that windshield will defrost a lot of that, uh, the snow and ice off the windshield. Sometimes it collects on the wipers and then they'll freeze up on you, especially if you're going down the highway. Windshield wiper de-icers will help keep those defrosted for you. Also, this has rain sensing wipers, this uh, standard equipment on your King Ranch Edition, which means if you have it in one of those intermittent settings and the auto uh, settings are activated on the vehicle, then when it starts to rain, you don't have to worry about it. It's going to go ahead and wipe the windshield wipers for you. And what's benefit of that is, especially when that rain speed changes on you constantly, it'll keep adjusting when it needs to, to go ahead and wipe that. There's a, a sensor up there above on the top part of the windshield, so that's what activates those windshield wipers, those rain sensing wipers for you. Also, this does have your um, LED fog lights down here too. So LED fog lights, so much brighter for you. It'll really help light up the road, especially when you're going down the, you know, those dirt roads and such, when it's really foggy outside or really dark sometimes even, and you can have you turn those fog lights on. Also, nice chrome accent around the bezel and housing for that as well. Front sensing system up here on the front of the vehicle. So as you're pulling up into those parking spaces, even garages, it's going to alert you and let you know if you get closer to different items on the front of the vehicle. Uh, really benefit to, to have, especially when you're sitting a little higher in this SUV. Uh, and then down here, you're going to see the stone gray accent on the lower part. Kind of, it's going to give you a two-tone. We'll see that as we move around to the side here, but it gives you that nice stone gray down there. Also, those 4x4s four by, four by will have those front tow hooks up there too. I think I've covered everything here on the front of it. I do want to talk about a couple driver assist technology features that are now a standard equipment on your King Ranch that you, we didn't see on your XLT. And we're going to talk about, about five driver assist features that are standard equipment now on your King Ranch. Uh, some of your XLTs don't have some of these. Uh, and then of course you go up to limited, you get several of these as part of that. And then again, you carry over to the King Ranch edition. First one to talk about uh, actually standard equipment on all your XLTs, and that's going to be your lane keeping system. Part of the Copilot 360, uh, the lane keeping system just allows you to be able to help you keep you in your lane. So a couple different features that go along with that, like a driver assist feature, a driver alert feature. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, uh, that kind of thing, it alerts you about that. Also, there's a couple different settings for departing from your lane. There's either an alert setting or there's an actual uh, assist setting. So what this is going to do is if on the alert setting, it's going to vibrate that steering wheel if you leave your lane. Whereas the assist setting, what it's going to do is actually keep you in your lane. Uh, so that's a great feature. Use torque vectoring. So when you get over to those lines, it's going to keep you within your lane there. So lane keeping system is a great feature to have. Also, as part of the Copilot 360 is going to be your Bliss system. Now, Bliss is the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. And I love this. What it's going to do is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, it's going to alert you and let you know too. It's going to monitor your blind spots as you're backing the vehicle up. So if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right, and a series of tones that you need to stop. There's someone back there for you. So I love how that works. Also, the bliss is going to include any trailers you might have. So if you are pulling a trailer back there, it will monitor the blind spot of your trailer as well. So trailer monitoring uh, for your blind spot too. So great features as part of the Copilot 360. There is a Copilot 360 assist as well that's now that's going to be standard equipment on your King Ranch. And one of the features that's included in that package is going to be your adaptive cruise control with stop and go. So what that means is adaptive cruise, if you have it set that way, you can set the gap for how soon you want to be notified. If someone's going slower than you, you'll go, you'll, as you're speeding up, you'll go ahead and you'll slow down to go their speed so you won't rear in them. When you pass them or they speed back up, you'll resume back up as well. And just like it sounds, we'll bring you to a complete stop too. So if you're in, you know, in those uh, metropolitan areas where it gets busy during rush hour and that kind of thing, and you have that cruise set, and then of course it gets down to pretty much stop and go traffic, it's gonna go ahead and bring you to complete stop as well. So love how the adaptive cruise control works. Now it's gonna be part of the King Ranch edition of standard equipment. Also, you're gonna get not only front sensing system, you're gonna also get reverse sensing, and you're gonna get side sensors. This does have the enhanced 
enhanced active park assist. So having all those sensors around the vehicle allow you to be able to parallel park your vehicle, even reverse perpendicular park your vehicle, and help you park out of those tight parallel parking positions. So it takes care of all the steering, even helps you find those parking spaces that are big enough for your vehicle, and it tells you all the different commands. You control all the, the gas, the brake, and the shifting, and it controls all of the steering. So that's a great system and how that all works together. Also, this is going to have your, your 360 degree camera. So there is a camera underneath the front emblem up here, underneath each, each of your mirrors, as well as one on the back. So that way you can see completely around the vehicle in a split screen view on that eight inch touch screen. So you can see you know, completely around the vehicle and then the other side will be either reverse your uh, backing up or your front camera, depends on which, which way you're going there. So it comes in real handy. If you press that little camera button on the dash up there above the screen, you can enlarge that back or front camera if you want to. And I think you can even go one step further and get a really close up if you're backing up to that trailer. So I uh, love the 360 camera and how that works as well on the vehicle. So I think I've covered all the technology features I wanted to. Let's go ahead and continue around to the side of the vehicle. Now as we move around to the side of the vehicle, you're gonna see the standard wheel on this, which is a 22 inch alloy wheels with the magnetic painted pockets with a King Ranch Center logo. Now there's 22 inch wheels. This is actually the only wheel that's available on your King Ranch Edition. Uh, the 22 inch wheels also get you the continuously controlled dampening suspension. So it's gonna give you a great ride. Uh, it just really helps out uh, being, being that it has the bigger wheels. They wanna make sure it has that so you get that nice stable ride, uh, that dampening suspension. A lot of people call it your adaptive suspension. So it's gonna adapt that to your road conditions and especially for those potholes and that kind of thing. Also, you're going to have your King Ranch logos here on the fenders on both sides, similar to what you'd see on your F-150 and Super Duty. Also, this is going to have your, I'm going to talk about the uh, door handles here, body color door handles, chrome accent on uh, outside of those. Also, you're going to see the chrome belt line molding that goes and wraps around the vehicle, goes from driver's door to the front of the passenger door over there. So, real nice look there. Your roof rack rails up here, they're going to be that stone gray accent on those roof rack side rails. So, you see in the Limited, they're usually chrome on your, X, your XLT, they're usually black, stone gray for your King Ranch Edition over here. Now this does have your intelligent access that allows you to be, be able to leave that key fob in your uh, pocket, purse, whatever it might be, which I'll show you a clip of the remote real quick. You have your lock, unlock, lock, you do have remote start, so this will have the remote start if you're in a close enough proximity, just lock it and press that twice. Uh, and then we'll get to the tailgate in just a little bit, as well as a panic right there. The key is located uh, at the bottom. You just press that little button and then it pulls out uh, just in case uh, you, you have it, just in case the vehicle maybe might die on you or something so you can get in and out of the vehicle that way. Now you just have that key fob in your pocket. You don't have to unlock it or use it to unlock the vehicle. You just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's gonna automatically unlock the vehicle. You'll notice those mirrors did power fold out. We do have auto fold uh, side view mirrors or power mirrors as well. Uh, we'll get more into that in just a little bit. Uh, but it allows you to unlock the vehicle. Now you can set up your settings when you do that to unlock all the doors or just a driver's door as well as your remote settings. So if I just hit it once, is it gonna unlock just a driver's door or all the doors? Now if I hit it a second time, it will then unlock the rest of the doors. But in the first uh, purpose, it'll tell you what it's gonna do. Also there's ridges on the front doors. So you just, uh, actually on all the doors, forgot about that. If you just uh, press those ridges, it's gonna lock the vehicle up, auto fold those mirrors into place as well for you. Keypad entry here on the pillar. What that allows you to do is if you want to leave the keys inside or maybe you don't have the keys on you but you need to grab something out of it, you can use your own special code that you can go ahead and program and get into the vehicle. So uh, a lot of them will come with those codes in your owner's manuals. There's a little card usually. Uh, also, I think you can use the touchscreen to be able to put uh, your own code in there, but I think you have to know the, uh, the master code first to be able to do that. But keypad entry can come in real handy there. Um, also, the power deployable boards. So the way those work, if you just go ahead and open the door, it's going to deploy those running boards down a little bit lower than most of your running boards or your, or your normal running boards on the side. Uh, these are also have special accent on the side of them and underneath, chrome accent on the side, and then the air, that stone gray is going to be located underneath on the bottom side of that. Kind of gives you that two-tone look on the side of the Expedition that way. So real nice features. Let's talk about the mirror features other than that, the bliss that we already talked about. Also has your turn signal indicator on the outside, so the LED lights back there. It does have the security approach lamp that's gonna light the ground beside the vehicle. When you use that remote to unlock it or put your hands in the door handle, it's gonna light up beside the vehicle there. Power heated glass as well for both sides. And you're gonna have the auto dimming driver side view mirror, which means it's gonna dim that side, the driver's side mirror if those cars wanna pass you with those bright lights. So um, great features there. Privacy glass as well on these back windows, the back glass, 
as well in these uh, these quarter glasses here uh, just keeps it a little bit cooler it also looks a lot nicer on the vehicle we put window 10 on a lot of our vehicles just because it looks nicer on the vehicle as well so some great features there and of course just like all the other vehicles we'll have the easy fuel capless filler door no cap to worry about leaving behind getting your hands dirty or anything like that just open that door fill the vehicle up when you need to and then go ahead and shut it when you're done don't have to worry about anything. There is actually a two-door system in that. So you don't have to worry about people trying to get into there. You will have to have the exact size nozzle that you get at the fuel pumps. They are a little bit different than what you might get from a uh, fuel can if you run out of gas. So there is an extra funnel that they have in the vehicle. We'll show you where that's located when we move to the back. So moving to the back back here, this does have a lot of the looks from your other uh, expeditions here with some different distinctive King Ranch uh, badging and such. So here on the back glass, you're gonna have rear defrost with rear wiper, also center high mounted stoplight up here on this body colored rear spoiler back here. Now this glass does pop separate from the lift gate itself. You just press the button just to the right of the, uh, the camera there and it's gonna release it. And then you just pull that lever up and it does have the hydraulics here so it'll come down and up real easy for you. So real nice. Uh, this allows you to be able to get into those last items back here, especially if you have that regular link, kind of put those in there uh, using that lift gate, the, the glass right there. Also, you're going to see the chrome accent that goes across the back. And right now, since we did open that, you can see the LED tail lights as well back here. So it's so much brighter so people know you're wanting to stop with those nice bright LEDs. King Ranch badging here. Nice, bold, big King Ranch badging on the back of the lift gate. Body colored bumpers here on the top with that stone gray two-tone look on the back of it back here, including the cover for your hitch receiver. So this will come with your class four receiver hitch with four pin and seven pin wiring. And this cover just is re real easy to kind of just pull off. It's a little different. The past years they've had some finger screws. Now you just kind of pull that off and you put it back into place when you're not using it back here. So real nice look to the back of it. Now let's go ahead and open this up. You can use the little button under here if you want to, to open it. Even if you have the vehicle lock, it works like the intelligent access for the doors as well. In fact, let me lock it, kind of show you. There you go. Uh, so you can use that button. You can also use your remote. You can also use your foot. So it does have the foot activated, uh, hands-free lift gate, and the hitch does not get in the way. So what I recommend and I tell people is I usually I kind of kick right here where this crease is for the hitch on either side and it will work. So let me give you a demonstration. It's a straight kick forward and back and it opens up. So again, straight kick, don't wave it around because you don't want to think it's a cat or something under there. So Ford doesn't do that. It's just a straight kick forward and back. Now again, this is the regular length. So, and actually before I do that, I wanna show you something I'm gonna probably demonstrate in another video, uh, and that's the lift gate. You can adjust where this lift gate stops as it goes up. So if you're a little bit shorter, uh, maybe some, um, maybe some of the, the females out there or something, and they wanna be able to shut the lift gate using the button right here that's located right there. If it's all the way up and you're shorter and you can't reach it, it doesn't really come in handy. You'd have to use a remote every time, or you could use your foot either way. But you can adjust this to where you want it to stop just by pressing and holding it right there. So that's just something a lot of people don't know. A lot of sales people don't tell their, uh, their customers either. It's gonna come with floor mats. We always keep them back here. We don't want them getting all dirty. Uh, we'll have specific King Ranch uh, embroidered floor mats for you. Uh, so you're gonna have to see that on your front uh, ones, but there'll also be floor mats for your back seat as well, or second row seat uh, as well here. So we'll put these off to the side. So in here, uh, this is a regular length, and I'll try to show you some clips of the extended length as well, but this regular length, this cargo area underneath here, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna lift this up so you can see that. It actually does have hinges on it, so it will, uh, when it, especially when it's new, it'll actually stay in a position. But on the regular length, you're gonna see a, on the left side, it kind of divides that cargo in half. You're gonna have a compartment to be able to put some things in. It does have a cargo netting in here as well, uh, and that cargo netting can go back here on these hooks. So you can pull those out here on the side as well as the loops on the bottom. So you put it back there, put all the smaller items in there, they won't roll around too much in the vehicle, especially if you have an extended length that can come in real handy. So that has the cargo netting. Also, you'll see you can put some smaller things, your jumper cables, that kind of stuff, you can put in that little compartment right there. And then your jack is gonna be on the right side over here with that funnel as we talked about earlier. So that's where it's gonna be located on the regular length. Now, if you have the extended length because you have more cargo, they're gonna move that jack and they're gonna move it more sideways and it's gonna be positioned to the right over here and you'll have a much bigger cargo area uh, and so that gives you more room in there so again I'm gonna give you a clip off of another vehicle that we did this on uh, on on the extended length on the expedition video where we had that so you can kind of see what that looks like and when you get that extended length you also get an extra little cargo door that you can use some different things with as well uh, right there like being able to make a shelf and that kind of thing on those extended links for you so uh, some different flexibility there now all these are gonna come with the rear independent suspension as well as the 
rear independent front suspension. Not only is that gonna give you a better ride, but because it has a rear independent suspension, you're gonna have more leg room for those in the third row seats, uh, as you're gonna be able to see on the vehicle, and you really need to get in and kind of, even as an adult, you can sit in that third row seat pretty comfortably uh, back there, uh, but gives you lots of room. I, I have a son, uh, you know, a high school kid, he's a senior, and he has leg room. He likes to sit in the third row seat. Uh, so there's plenty of room back there even for him uh, for you in the leg room and he's pretty much the same size i am anybody that's about 5 10 5 11 even maybe six foot are still going to have plenty of leg room but also it's going to allow you to be able to fold the seat flat to the floor uh, expedition has been doing this since 2013 uh, so uh, real actually 2003 sorry uh, so we've been doing it for a long time uh, but with these i like is that you can press a button and you don't have to hold it anymore so in the headrest you don't have to worry about it either you do have buttons for these you can lower those down if you want to i'm going to leave them up to show you if we press these buttons i'm going to do both of them so you can go left right or both so we're gonna hit that middle button so just press it and let go and it's gonna go ahead and lower those seats down and it's gonna you'll notice those headrests go down right there and so you don't have to do it and you don't have to press and hold it give you a flat low level completely flat low level without having to take the seats out of the vehicle we still there's still some SUVs out there uh, some other non Ford SUVs that you still have to take the seats out of the vehicle does not come in handy when you're at the store and then you realize you needed the extra cargo room and you have to go back home, take the seats out to come back to get whatever you needed to. You don't have to do that on an Expedition, so I love that. Also, those second row seats, if you have something even longer, you can use these switches over here to lower those down too. So you're gonna have left, right, and then that, the middle one too. So if I press that middle one, it lowers both of them at the same time. Real beneficial there for you. Uh, King Ranch has that button in the middle. Some of the others, if you have a bed seat in the middle, that middle button will actually be this, this the, uh, the middle seat there to lower it down as well but again you can see even with that giving you a flat low level in previous years you had a you had to have a, a low little lever that you had to pull to take it from one position down to that flat low level uh, you don't have to anymore on the expedition so i love that flexibility in here uh, giving you lots of cargo in here and there's even a powerpoint back here if you want to on the right side uh, and then some compartments to put some things over here on the left side as well as an interior light so uh, plenty of uh, use of uh, versatility there the uh, second the third row seat you can just press the button again and it's going to bring those seats back up automatically for you second row seats you will have to manually put that back into position uh, as well as these back seats, you'd have to put the headrest back into position. And I'm going to do that because I want to show you something when we get to the interior of the vehicle on some other flexibilities you have for those headrests for the driver. So let's go ahead and move inside and cover some of those features. Now, when you move to the interior, this does have your traditional King Ranch leather interior. So they're calling it the Del Rio leather interior trim. And we're not just talking about the seats. We're talking about here, even on the doors, you're going to see the rollover. It's going to have the Del Rio uh, leather there with the Kingsville stitching on it. You can also see it on the steering wheel across the dash the same way. So it looks really beautiful there. Even the console cover is going to have your ebony console cover with that Del Rio leather with the Kingsville stitching on there with the King Ranch emblem on that as well as the seats. So beautiful seats. Now we're talking all three rows. Typically when you get a Lariat or something with leather seats, the first two rows are leather, but the last seat is usually vinyl but not with the King, King Ranch Edition. All three rows are gonna have the genuine Del Rio leather seats. So beautiful leather seats with that Kingsville stitching on there with the backrests that have the King Ranch emblem on. All three rows of seats will have the King Ranch logo on those backrests. So beautiful look to them. The front seats will get dual power seats up here, including your power lumbar and your power backrest or recline, I should say, as well as you're gonna have heated and ventilated front seats. So real nice having those uh, features for that. Ventilated is uh, a lot of people would like normally call it cooled seats, but instead of cooling the seat off, it actually pulls the air through the seat, cooling the, via the seat off that way instead. A little bit quieter and you don't have the condensation that usually sits on underneath the seats. Second row seats are gonna be bucket seats back there, uh, only seating configuration for the King Ranch. Uh, you will have heated seats for those two, out for those two seats as well. Uh, back there, those seats will slide forward and back uh, they also, uh, with a lever underneath the seat there, they also have a, a tip and slide feature, which means you can leave those car seats in those and you just pull the lever. It's going to tip and keep that same 
position for that seat so it's going to just tip that seat forward and hinges at the front and you can just slide it on the track back to be able to get to the back or you can just go through the middle seat to that third row seat back there third row seat is going to seat three back there 60 40 split bench seat for that backrest so what's great about that you did see how those can fold down flat uh, earlier when we talked about it either the 60 percent side or the 40 or both um, also with those they have power recline as well so there's switches on the side for those uh, seats to be able to recline back a little bit and even re and um, come forward a little bit as well power recline great benefit back there also you're going to have usb ports for uh, two of them for the third row seat back there so one on each side so they can power different devices back there keeping them charged so there's actually six usb ports throughout the vehicle including behind this uh, center this center console so let's talk about that for a second you're gonna have two usb ports back there you're gonna have an 110 outlet and a power point back there and then you're going to have the climate control so auto climate control for back there uh, the controls the second and third row uh, climate control so it's a tri-zone system but you do have an auto setting for this uh, those controls back there as well so a lot of seating configuration and of course usb ports plenty of cup holders as well for those back there there's one for each person in the third row seat and there's two for each of the two positions in the second row back there too here on the door, you're going to have power windows, locks, mirror switches. Don't forget, auto one-touch for all windows. Uh, that means you just press it, and it's going to automatically go down as well as come back up. Driver memory as well for three different drivers. And what the benefit of that is going to uh, memorize the position of the seat, the mirror, the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel for you, as well as the power adjustable pedal. So all four of those power features there and reserve that for that driver. And it does come with the easy entry and exit seat, which means... When you shut the vehicle off, the steering wheel goes up, the seat goes back, allow you to get in and out of the vehicle a little bit better. It comes in real handy when you get in the vehicle and maybe you weren't the last driver that drove the vehicle and you start it. Uh, it starts adjusting things. It gives you time to be able to press your number or stop that setting and then you can adjust everything for you that way as well. So I love how that works. Leather wrap, heated steering wheel as well. So it goes along with your remote start features to heat the steering wheel as well as your heated seats for you in those situations. Uh, you will see the cruise control on the left side. Remember those there's arrows for that adaptive cruise control we showed you earlier. So real nice being able to adjust that gap. The D-pad up there on the left is going to control the 8-inch productivity screen that you see in the uh, in the instrument cluster here. So what's great about that, you only see that screen in your F-150s and your Super Duties and your expeditions though. You can adjust those. It has your four x four in there. You have your towing uh, configuration in there. That's where you control all your settings for those lights and everything we talked about earlier right there. The right side of the steering wheel, you're gonna have the, the D-pad up there. It's gonna control your some of your audio controls like volume, pre-settings for your stations and that kind of thing as well. And then below that is where you're gonna see your Bluetooth controls so you can make and receive phone calls uh, and do those voice commands using those buttons right there uh, on the steering wheel. So it comes in real handy there. And then I did mention power tilt and telescoping. So electronically, it'll go up and down, forward and back by using the little knob over here, the D-pad over here on the left of the steering column itself. And then the power adjustable pedals allow you to adjust those pedals forward and back. And the switch for that is right below your headlights uh, right there. Now, right above your headlights, let's talk about those for a second. One of them, the one on the right, is going to be for your power lift gate. So yeah, you pull up to the ball game, soccer field or whatever, uh, you need the kids to get in or they need to get their gear out, out the back, you can just press press that button right there. It's going to go ahead and open up that lift gate. I think you do have the, have the vehicle in park. And then you can go ahead and shut it as well right here with that switch too. So uh, that's real nice having it right above those headlights. Also, you'll see that other button. A lot of people don't know what that's for. A lot of uh, dealers won't always let you know that. What that button's going to do is it's going to allow you to move those headrests down. So if you're looking back behind there right now, I can't see except for in between those two headrests. Uh, so if you want to see over those headrests, you just press this button uh, and it's going to go ahead and lower those headrests for you automatically. So you don't have to be back there or have anybody back there in that seat to lower those down because they are pretty tall uh, headrests. So you can just use this switch right here and it's going to lower those headrests down. Comes in real handy there. Push button start is located just to the right of the steering column uh, right back here. So you don't have to get the keys out to, to get in the vehicle or to start the vehicle. Now, right here, we're going to talk about these later. This is part of a package that's available as optional equipment. Uh, we'll get into the different uh, things for your trailer towing here in just a little bit. For your climate control, uh, dual zone climate up here. So it's a tri-zone system, uh, but up here in the front, you're going to have a dual zone for the driver and front passenger. So it will allow you to adjust those for different temperatures for those different uh, positions for the left and the right of the front vehicle up here. For your uh, 
AM, FM, and for your audio controls, you ha do have a B&O audio sound system here for you. So what's great about that is it's going to have plenty of speakers in there. There's a big speaker up there. gives you a nice surround sound feeling here. And a lot of people think B&O is a lot better than uh, your Sony audio. So you, now you have the B&O audio sound system in here. With AM, FM player, you have MP3 capabilities. Sirius XM satellite radio will be uh, free for the first six months. Uh, but then you have that cap capability to go ahead and sign up for a longer subscription. Uh, and then it does have HD radio capabilities as well. And real nice uh, big touchscreen. So it does have that 8 inch touchscreen with the new upgraded Sync system. This is Sync 3. I think it's 3.2 is what they're calling it now. Uh, so it is that upgraded. You'll, you'll notice that bluer screen at a different color uh, screen there, especially when you have your headlights on. Uh, so it's very impactful. Pinch to zoom capabilities for the navigation. Uh, will come standard equipment as part of the Copilot 360 assist package with the navigation system there. So you do have that the on-screen navigation uh, as well for you. So it comes in real handy. It does have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well when you uh, plug your phone into the Bluetooth controls in the Media Hub, uh, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Uh, so all those features there. Above the screen, you're going to see, oh, your backup camera we already showed you earlier is going to come in that 8-inch touchscreen as well. Up here above that, you're going to see a hill descent control uh, button. You're going to also see your traction control button where you can deactivate that if you want to. And then you have your hazard. And then you also, that's the button for your lane keeping right beside your hazard. Just to the right of that, that's where you would activate and deactivate your lane keeping system. A lot of people don't know where that's located and that's where that's going to be located at. And then to the right of that is your auto start stop button. And then that, the camera button there if you want to change the different views of your back and front camera just by pressing that button right there. So to the right of that, you're just going to see a PowerPoint over there. And uh, of course, same kind of connectivity as we did see behind the console. Because uh, down here in the media hub, let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's go ahead and slide this for you. We'll see this nice... Uh, zircati wood here on the center console beautiful look to it uh, this uh, front compartment you just slide that forward and we call that the media hub in there you're going to see a usb port in there as well as a usb type c a lot of people don't know a lot of phones anymore especially android phones will come with a usb type c that would you plug into your cube you plug that cord into here and then usb type c into the, your phone you're going to have much faster data it'll charge much faster as well and you shouldn't have any kind of lag whatsoever if you use that cord uh, so Ford is, is putting that in a lot of their vehicles. Also, you'll see the wireless charging pad down there. So it's going to be uh, slow charging for most of your phones. It won't charge as fast as the USB port will. Uh, but what's great about it is you can put that down there, uh, especially, you know, a lot of times you're driving, you just stow your phone in there, and it's charging while you're driving. So even when you stow it away, a uh, great place to put it. Let it charge a little bit uh, on your drive, uh, and then that will really help you out and get, keep your phone charged up a little bit for you there. So that's all down there in that media hub right there. Uh, now let's go, go ahead and talk about the this uh, the mirror up here. It does have an auto dimming rear view mirror, which means just like the side one over there, if cars want to come up behind you with those bright lines, it's going to automatically dim that mirror so that way it doesn't blind you. You don't have to worry about flipping any switch or anything like that up there. Uh, on the visor up here, you do have garage openers for three different garage doors. Universal garage door openers, what they call that. Uh, it's basically any any transmitter. So garage doors, if you have a gate at a farm or something that works off of a transmitter, you can program that to these switches up here. So up to three different garage doors, or if you have a gate or something like that, you can program that. It comes in real handy because then that way you don't have to have those garage door openers up here on the visor. So when you flip that down, you know how they fall in your lap or something like that. You don't have to worry about that if you program using those uh, universal garage door openers. On the overhead console, you have a uh, sunglass bin. So you can just press that and it's going to come down for you and uh, give you access to that. There's also a little compartment there. That is for the mirror. So uh, you see that a lot of uh, you know minivans and different things. That just allows you to be able to see to the second row seat a little bit easier because usually you can't see behind you. And with this mirror, you're going to be able to see behind you a little bit better. Uh, more wide view mirror so you can see everybody in the vehicle a little bit better than you can with the rear view mirror up here. On the overhead uh, up here with the switches up here, you're going to see a lot of switches up here. The ones on the left are for your interior lights. Uh, there's two on the outside. We'll, we'll program these lights up here. You have the interior light you can shut off as well right there. And then the rest of those switches have to do with the twin panel moonroof. Standard equipment on your King Ranch uh, trim here. You do have a power sunshade, so you can just press those buttons and that's going to bring that sunshade forward and back. Usually we'll stop halfway, so that way if you just want to open up this front one, there's nobody else in the vehicle. Uh, you don't have to wait for it to go all the way back. And then also the moonroof will open up. This front glass will open up as well. Uh, as well as, don't forget, the sunshade will go on back like it's located right now. Uh, being able to give you access to both of those full glass roof uh, uh, views and windows up there. So real nice how that all works there. 
Let's talk about the rest of the console here real quick. We do have the cup holder, so you just press that and open up. Uh, so that does have a cover for the cup holders. Uh, you'll see down in there, there's ambient lighting, lights up the cup holders, the footwells, and the door handles. So you can uh, be able to have the nice ambient lighting look to, in here. Shut that. And then right here on the, the uh, center console, is, you're gonna see the, the, the uh, shifter knob right here, where you, can, you do have that dial shifter with the plus and minus below that. That's the, your select shift. Uh, so you put it in that manual mode if you press that button in the middle then you can shift it up and down like a manual transmission using the plus minus there then you see the drive mode now this one actually is something we're going to show you in just a little bit but the drive mode switch that's where you can adjust that and it changes your different drive modes here on the screen uh, from normal eco sport uh, to the uh, wet snow uh, mode and uh, that kind of thing right there and then the buttons right below that is your the the p with the steering wheel that is your enhanced active park assist so you activate that to find those parking spaces as well as take care of all the steering for you and then the other switch over there to the right is where you can deactivate the rear park um, the reverse sensing system and that would be if you're backing up to a trailer so a lot of times it's real nice having it right here not having to go on any screen pressing it a bunch of times uh, just having it right there so if you're back up to that trailer and it starts beeping on you you could deactivate it real quickly just by pressing that button right there I think i've covered everything else oh center console uh, so you can get in here it looks a lot like your iphone 50s and super duties uh, so you do have a, a tray that can slide back and forth uh, that you can take in and out a coin uh, position for those different coins right there and then a bigger console in here uh, with a powerpoint in there as well i think that's big enough for a laptop probably to fit in there probably a 15 inch laptop would fit in there and then that tray kind of slides back and forth you do have a little slot right here so if you do want to use the powerpoint have the cord come through uh, then you can do that as well right there and then there's clips for pins up there on the top as well and so, so a lot of features here throughout the vehicle uh, you do have two compartments for your glove box one there that's a little bit shallower for smaller items and then the bigger one down here usually that's where your owner's manual is going to be tucked up on the shelf up there but a bigger uh, glove box in there as well and then also the uh, the door sill plates when you're getting in will be specific have the king ranch uh, logos on them as well and i think i already mentioned the floor mat so i think i've covered everything oh uh, last thing i want to talk about is the four pass connect uh, four pass connect is a great way for you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. A lot of people know the great benefits to that app. Uh, it's a free app you download, free service to use. If you want to remote start your vehicle from anywhere, you want to unlock and lock your vehicle, even schedule remote start times. Uh, maybe find your vehicle in a busy uh, parking lot or game or something. I'm not sure, I can't remember what section you parked in. You can locate your vehicle. Uh, great features in there. Uh, if you want to use the Wi-Fi hotspot capabilities, because uh, it does have an embedded modem, you can use that as well. That does require a membership after three months. Uh, but you still get access to the app uh, free to use to be able to remote start the vehicle any for the the lifetime that you own the vehicle so that's not going to wear out you don't need a subscription for that just a subscription if you want to use the wi-fi hotspots in the vehicle so now that we've covered all the standard equipment let's talk about a couple packages and include several features within them the first one i to talk about is the heavy duty trailer tow package it includes five features on the vehicle to help with your towing a little bit better so one of them is it does have an extra heavy duty radiator up there so a little bit bigger radiator more powerful radiator uh, really helps to cool the vehicle off especially if you're towing a lot of weight also comes with a 373 electronic locking rear differential. So uh, it, it does upgrade it to the 373. Uh, the 373 just allows for better towing. So usually you see trucks and uh, such that are, that are geared with 373s uh, and even sometimes higher uh, to help you with your towing. Also a couple features that we did see on the inside that I didn't I want to cover earlier yet because it, this vehicle has this package on it. And one of them is the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. That's that dial that you see on the console there, that, or the uh, dash I should say. So that just allows you to be able to use that dial to control the, the trailer. So you use the backup camera in that dial to go ahead and take that trailer where you need to, not worrying about if do I need to turn left to make the trailer go right and that kind of thing. Uh, you just use that dial. Also the integrated trailer brake, up, uh, trailer brake controller. So that allows you, especially on those hills and such, to be able to control the, the, the whatever you're towing behind you using that trailer brake controller uh, instead of having to use your brakes so much and getting them real hot, especially if you're uh, working and towing something on those hills. And then also the two-way four-wheel drive system. So what's great about this four-wheel drive system is it gives you a four by four only mode. So uh, as you can see uh, before, you'd see the, uh, the two high, and then you'd also see the uh, four -wheel, automatic four-wheel drive. Now you're getting a four low as well with this system. So real great. Also because of this four-wheel drive system, gives you the neutral towing capabilities. So if you do have that motor home, 
this vehicle can be neutral towed behind a motorhome if you have this four wheel drive system in it. So again, this is a, a great package to get. That's why we included it with this vehicle. Now the other package I want to talk about that's pretty popular is the cargo package. The cargo package gives you a couple features. One of them happens to be the cross rails up here. So they'll, you'll notice this one just has the side rails, but with the cargo package you'll also get the crossbars that go across it. They'll be black uh, and they'll help you manage any car, kind of cargo, especially if you have the regular length, that can come in real handy. And then you have the cargo management system in the back as well. So that just gives you that, that shelf in there. So you, you, whether you have the regular length or the extended length, in the past only extended length would have that cargo manager in there. But with this one, it does give you that shelf to help manage your cargo. So especially if you have bags and you want to load them up, uh, that way you don't have to worry about shifting and everything. You can have that, that shelf in there, and that shelf system that will put some of those bags on top uh, to be able to make it more structurally sound in there uh, and being able to just load that up in the back with this cargo. So uh, again, another package that's very popular. Now we're going to talk about six standalone options you can get that are available for you. Several of these you want to order from the factory and I'll kind of show you that as we talk about the different features. First one to talk about is the front license plate bracket. Now in states that require a front license plate, it's going to be standard equipment. It's going to be included when you order those from the factory when, you have, when dealers are in those states. States like Kansas where it's not required, it will be a standalone option for you. No charge option, but you would have to order that if you want that front tag bracket. Uh, and I, typically I do say you want to do that if you want that on there because then the dealer will put it on, it'll be part of the window sticker and they cannot charge you extra for installing that front tag bracket on there. If you get this afterwards from your Ford dealer, they're going to charge you for the tag bracket as well as to install it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, on your vehicles. Also the engine block heater. Engine block heater, you see that when vehicle, uh, people that live in uh, cold weather states where they keep their vehicle outside, they want to be able to have that vehicle uh, easily uh, start in the winter, especially if it's really low, zero temperature and that kind of thing, uh, overnight to be able to start the vehicle the next morning. So your engine block heater is also available for you. A couple features for the second row, one of them being the rear inflatable seat belts. Optional equipment for those uh, uh, second row seats. Uh, so it does have the inflatable seat belt. So if you have that, that accident, it's going to de deploy that. So that way those kids that are sitting in the second row seats hopefully won't get injured by that seat belt. Inflates it, helps it protect them a little bit better. Also, you can get the rear headrest DVD players. So what it's going to do is going to uh, switch out your headrest and give you a separate DVD players or actually entertainment systems is what they're called because not only does it play DVDs, but also you can plug in USB ports, uh, you know, thumb drives, that kind of stuff with video on it. You can even plug in video consoles and everything to those as well. So real nice entertainment system. Uh, about a $2,000 option for you. Uh, a lot of times we won't order those because people anymore are just, you know, they're having their cell phones anymore and those mobile, those gaming systems. So a lot of, we don't see that as much. Uh, but it is something you can add to your vehicle if you want to order this from the factory, uh, especially for you. Also, a couple ways to protect the cargo area. You have the floor liners. So we talked about carpeted mats for the first and second row. You can also get all-weather floor liners. So you would still get your floor mats, but these would also be thrown in with the vehicle too. Uh, just being uh, kind of, they just throw them in a package for you when they deliver it, when they uh, comes from Ford, and then you could install them anytime you want to with those nice floor liners. Also a cargo mat. That would go in the back as well, whether you have the extended length or the regular length, uh, it'll give you those two different size mats. It would go back there, kind of protect the back cargo area uh, and uh, Especially if you know you get dirty a lot, you can get the cargo mat back there, kind of protect that rear cargo area. So those are our six different options for you that are available. Uh, the floor liners and the cargo mat are something that you can get afterwards. Doesn't really change, you just slide them in yourself anyway. Uh, but if you're, you know, engine block heater, front tag bracket, the, uh, the rear inflatable seat belts and the headrest DVDs, something you probably want to get from the factory. Let's go ahead and finish this video up by talking about the warranties. Uh, the factory warranty on these are a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. A lot of people forget about that roadside assistance uh, and that really helps out. So if you, you know, maybe you pop a tire or the battery's dead or something like that, uh, they'll help come to your safety, tow you to the nearest Ford dealer uh, and that is covered for the first five years or 60,000 miles. So don't forget you can find all these vehicles on most of your Ford websites and most of them, uh, they are tied to Ford and themselves and we'll have a copy of the window sticker that you can pull up as a link, just like on our website and you can see all the factory equipment and what other optional equipment they ordered on their particular unit. So if you're wanting to get a vehicle from a dealer, you can check that out and see all that information there uh, right there easy with a link on those websites. Now you can check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. 
They're in each one of our, our vehicles. Not only are you going to see that window sticker, but you're going to see a great internet price. You can see uh, lots of pictures. You can see a, a spin is what we call it. And that's an interior as well as an outside perspective, a VR experience on e every single one of our vehicles that we have in stock. Uh, as well as you can uh, even finance a vehicle right there on the website. Uh, you can check your payments, you can even value your trade. You can do everything right on our website. And the reason I mentioned that is because we do have free shipping. I mentioned it earlier in the video. Uh, so if you're wanting, you're someone out there that wants to get a vehicle ordered exactly the way they want it to from a dealership that knows their product, you can do that through us and we'll even ship it to you for free. Uh, and great way to just buy a vehicle. You can do everything online or even with one of our finance managers, salespeople, and take care of everything and have the vehicle delivered right to your door. You don't even need to leave your house. So just think about that. Uh, if you want to do that, free shipping. We do, uh, we do have a disclaimer on that. Uh, and I like to make everything very transparent on these videos. Uh, we ask you to finance a vehicle with us. Uh, that's the only catch on that. Most people will finance this much uh, money anyway on a vehicle. Uh, and you know, you can go through Ford if you want to or any of our other lenders. And the reason we do that is because the lenders do give us a little bit of a kickback for the financing and that will cover most of the cost of the shipping. It doesn't cover it all, but it will cover most. And so that's why we do uh, free shipping up to $1,000. But since we are centrally located in the United States, it gets you to about every coast around you, around us, I should say. So usually outside of Alaska and Hawaii, we can do the free shipping for you. So uh, reach out to us if that's something you want to do. You can call or send us a text message on the numbers on the screen, or you can find those numbers down in the description as well. Uh, you can always go to our website. We do have those same coordinators available by phone are also available on our chat. Uh, so if you want to do a little online chat and have any questions, you can do that as well. And they're also going to be the coordinators that will help you if you submitted a request for information or you want to lock in a vehicle on our website, you'd get a hold of those same coordinators. So they all work in my department, so they're going to be able to answer any questions you might have or have access to me and be able to answer those questions too. So if you haven't had a chance yet, go ahead and don't forget, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. That way you can get subscribed to our great content. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified for our videos as they go live. And don't forget, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's other people know they need to watch the video. And don't forget to leave your comments down below. I read all those comments. I respond to those myself and love getting that feedback to make these videos better and better each time. If I forgot something, if you notice something out there, let me know as well. I know there's a lot of salespeople that actually watch these for training purposes. Uh, so if you notice something, let me know. I like to highlight that comment. I want to make sure these have all the appropriate information. And I think I covered everything, but if I did forget something, make sure you let me know in those comments down below. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Until the next one, we'll see you later.